Hello friends, welcome to governmentjobspreparation.com. My name is Preeti and today we are going to learn compound interest part 1. Let's see the questions. Our first question is, a sum of money doubles itself in 5 years. In how many years will it be 8 times of itself at the same rate of interest? Uh, if you remember, we have done this type of question in simple interest as well. But the difference between simple interest and compound interest is, Simple interest is already calculated on principal, whereas the compound interest is always calculated on amount, right? And what is amount? Amount is principal plus interest amount, right? Now, start with the first question. A sum of money doubles itself in five years. In five years, a sum of money doubles. Doubles two, right? In how many years will it be? Eight times. Eight times. Eight times means eight, right? And this two, we can write this two in this way, right? And this eight, we can write in this way, right? We can write eight in this in this way also. Now. See the gap. 3 is 3 times of 1. 3 is 3 times of 1. So now multiply this 3 with 5 and we get 15. So 15 years is the answer. Right? We have another way to solve this question. Let's see what's that. Uh, let's say our principal was 100. Fine. And as for the quotient, the quotient is a sum of money doubles itself. It becomes double in 5 years. Right? Now again, it, it doubles in 5 years. And again, it doubles in 5 years. Now we can see from 100, now it becomes 800. It means 8 times. 100 to 800, it becomes 8 times, right? In how many years? Calculate this years, 5, 5, 5. And that is 15 years, right? So 15 years is the right answer, right? Now see the second question. Second question is, a sum of money will be 750 in 5 years and it is 825 in 6 years. We have done the same question in Simple interest as well. Let's see. But in simple interest, we have to get the principal before solving, before getting rate of interest. Because simple interest is always calculated on principal. But we don't have to get the principal before getting the rate of interest. Because simple interest is always calculated on amount, right? So the procedure is same. Rupees 750 in 5 years. And rupees 825 in 6 years. Most probably you will be given the gap of these time 1 year. Right? 1 year. And the gap is, um, if we subtract 750 from 825, we get 75. So simply what we have to do, we, we just need to do 75 divided by this one. From the first one into 100 and when we solve this equation we get 10 percent and 10 percent is the rate of interest which we were asked so it was the compound interest part one these two portions are very important in simple interest and compound interest as